here at Open Map Mixed Martial Arts. Uh, I'm going to show you some cool moves for the Jits Magazine. Okay, let's take a look at two of my favorite daily Eva Guard passes. First of all, let's take a look at the importance that set up this pass. What's, what's important, right? What's real important about the beginning of this pass, two things. One is I need to keep my right knee open. It needs to face out. If it gets caved in, I'm in trouble. Now he starts making a longer hook and possibly going to my back. So what we're going to first do is focus on keeping our right knee, in this case it's my right knee, open and pointed towards the crook of that knee. All right. Second thing we need to do is we need to step over this leg. For me to get anywhere near passing, i got to step over this leg. Our first pass, I'm going to work on getting an underhook. So we're going to dominate the pants with a handlebar style grip. All right. I'm going to go ahead and look to get my level down. I want my, sh my, my chest to be very upright. I don't want to lean down with my head over his. If my head gets over his, we're going to get light for him to Tomonagi sweep me right over to the mount. So we're going to keep our head back with our chest in line with our knee. Now, we're going to take a little pivot step. I'm going to pivot step back and step over this leg. Okay? Again, we're going to pivot step and step over the leg. Now I'm going to careen this underhook right into his armpit and I'm going to fall forward. When we bring the underhook inside, I'm going to make sure this knee goes around his leg. It cannot, I don't want his leg coming up on top of my knee. I want to make sure my knee points to the mat. So as we make our underhook, I'm going to lift my foot off the floor, point my right toe, and I'm going to keep my knee going over his leg. Now, I have to have my head on the ground for this pass. We must have our head on the floor and you must trust your balance with your head on the floor. So my forehead is going to go right on the mat. My ear is going to be right next to Elliot's ear. And we're going to keep our right knee pointed to the mat. Here's where we're going to use a little funky leg work. Okay? Uh, leg work is one of my favorite things to do while I pass. So I'm going to show you guys a little leg work right here that will help us go right to the mount. We're not going to go to the cross side, we're going to go to the mount. When we're ready, when we have our balance, I'm going to post my left arm out to the side. I need my right underhook, my, my head is on the mat, we're going to use our left foot as a shin to shin, almost like we go shin to shin guard. We're going to push down on his shin, which is going to lift us up, and right to the mount. Okay? We have a couple options to make here, now you have a couple of things to think about. We have an underhook on our right side, but he has my foot stuck in the half guard. Okay? So we have a decision to make. One, try to mount, two, go to the cross side. If we're going to mount, we're going to use our left foot up on the knee. We're going to make sure both feet stay open, or his knees stay open, and the legs go together to the mount. And then we can bring our underhook out if you, if you, if you want to obtain some, get some good base. If you're worried about getting rolled. Second decision is to go to the cross side. Our, our, our head is on the mat. I feel like I don't want to mess with this balance here by lifting the foot up, so we're just going to bring our hips up and over. I'm going to pull the arm up to the ceiling, and we're going to go off to the cross side.